everyone and welcome back to Little Blossom Storytime here at Clark County Public Library geared for ages birth to two and a half and their caregivers. My name is Miss Sonia and today we have Wilbur, our little pig friend. Say hello Wilbur. This is Wilbur. But you know what? Wilbur wanted to help us out with this mystery box today. I kind of think Wilbur might know what's in there already, but let's see if you do. Um, what is in the mystery box makes this noise? It goes, nay. Do you know what it is? But guess what? It also goes, cluck, 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 cluck. And it also goes, er, er, er. And what else does it do? Oh my gosh, it does so many things. I know it does one more thing. It goes, moo. Do you know what that is? What could it be? Well, I didn't put a person in there. That would be silly. But guess what? We have a horse. And we have a duck say quack, quack, quack. And we have a cow. And we have a chicken. My goodness. Did you ever think I would have so many in a mystery box? I sure didn't. Okay, so what we're gonna do is read some stories here about farm life. And our friends are gonna join us right down here and help listen to our stories. Is that okay with you guys? Does that sound like fun? I think it sounds like fun and so do they. So, let's sit here listen okay first thing we're gonna do a little folder story what do you think about that see if you guys know your animals okay here's the the barn and here's the door let's open up the barn door the spring goes boink there's a pig in the barn saying what can you say oink 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 all right now, what do you think's gonna be next? Let's close it up. What do you think's gonna be in there? Open up the barn door before the clock strikes two. There's a cow in the barn. What does it say? Moo, moo, moo. Very good. All right, what do you think's next? Can you guess? It's open up the barn door. It's a sunny day. There's a what? A horse inside saying, nay, nay, nay. All right. Oops. What do you think is going to be next? What animal could be in the barn? Open up the barn door singing, tra la la. There's a sheep in the barn saying, ba, ba, ba. That one's silly. All right. What do you think? Any guesses? Open up the barn door while the sky is blue. There's a rooster in the barn saying cock a doodle doo. Can you go? Arr, arr, arr. All right. One last animal. What do you think it is? Open up the barn door and don't get off the track. There's a duck in the barn saying quack, quack, quack. I think duck likes that one a lot. All right, did you guys have fun with that one? You know what? There was a cow in there, we got our cow here. So how about I show you the sign for cow? Can you make this like this? And then put your thumb and your pinky out, put by your head and kind of move it like this. Can you do that? Back and forth, back and forth. And say moo. That's a sign for cow. Okay, so we're gonna do a big book today and it is called Big Red Barn by Margaret Weiss Brown, pictures by Felicia Bond, and we are reading with permission of, from Harper Collins Big Books. All right. By the Big Red Barn in the Great Green Field, there was a pink pig who was learning to squeal. There
there was a great big horse and a very little horse. And on every barn is a weather vane, of course, a golden flying horse. There was a big pile of hay and a little pile of hay, and that is where the children play. But in this story, the children are away. Only the animals are here today. The sheep and the donkey, the geese and the goats were making funny noises down in their throats. An old scarecrow Sam was leaning on his hoe and a field mouse was born. Aww. In a field of corn, they're teeny tiny. The butterflies, you flap your wings like a butterfly? Yep. barn there was a rooster and a pigeon too and a big white hen standing on one leg and under the hen was a quiet egg. There was a bantam rooster and a little bantam hen with a big clutch of eggs. Count them. There's ten. They're kind of hard to see. a big brown cow and a little brown cow. There was an old black cat, meow, meow, and a tiger tomcat, meow, meow. There was a big red dog, bow wow, with some little puppy dogs, all round and warm. And they all lived together in the big red barn and they played all day in the grass and in the hay. When the sun went down in the great green field, the big cow lowed, the little pig squealed, the horses stomped in the sweet warm hay, and the little donkey gave one last bray. The hens were sleeping on their nests, even the roosters took a rest, the little black bats flew away out of the barn at the end of the day. And there they were all night long, sound asleep in the big red barn. Only the mice were left to play, rustling and squeaking in the hay while the moon sailed high in the dark night sky. The end. Okay. I do have one other little book for you here, and it is called Farm Life by Elizabeth Spur, illustrated by Steve Bjorkman, and we are reading with permission from Holiday House. Red barn, red barn, what are you keeping? One rumbling tractor ready for reaping. One baler, one sower, one thresher, one mower. This is the farm life, but only a part. Blue barn, blue barn, what are you hiding? Two sturdy stallions saddled for riding. Three fillies neighing, four hens a laying. This is the farm life, but only a part. Green barn, green part. What's in your barn, excuse me, what's in your loft? Five bales of hay with straw piled up soft. Six cribs of new corn, six kittens newborn. This is the farm life, but only a part. Brown barn, brown barn, what do you hold? Seven small heifers escaping the cold. Eight ewes of feeding, eight lambs of bleeding. This is the farm life, but only a part. Gray barn, gray barn, what do you house? Nine straw-filled stalls with nine sleepy sows. 10 piglets suckling, farmer Dan chuckling.
This is the farm life, but only a part. White House, White House, open your doors. Show bright braided rugs on shiny oak floors. Fresh hot tea steeping, down quilts for sleeping. A crackling wood stove and a family to love. This is the farm life, the hole and the heart. The end. Did you guys like our farm stories today? I want you guys to practice making all your animal noises, okay? Have fun with that and have your big person teach you Old MacDonald Hat Farm, okay? And I'm gonna turn on the bubbles and then I will see you next week. Okay. Come on, bubbles. Let's see if they'll get over here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are they reaching us? Here, I'll bring it to look. Oh my goodness. Ah, they're getting me. If you didn't get your hair washed yet today, boys and girls, this is one way to do it. Just kidding. See you next week.